You know, there is a dreamer in me uh, and there is a practical person. A dreamer in me says that in 10 years from now, a lot of diseases will be diagnosed way before they even show any symptoms. And with relatively minimal personalized treatment, we can handle them without going through all the pain of treating advanced disease. So when I graduated from Columbia University and I came as a young faculty to MIT in 2003, I was working on natural language processing and I continued doing it for maybe 11 or 12 years. And then, then in 2014, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And when I was treated at MGH, uh, it was an eye-opening experience because I realized that all these great technologies that we're developing at MIT and in other universities is really not part of the American healthcare system, even in the you know, research hospitals like MGH. And it is also clear to me, it was clear then, how much uncertainty you know, we have as a patients when we are entering medical system, especially for such a complicated diseases like cancer, where there is a lot of individualized outcomes and I, unfortunately, the mechanism to kind of foresee the future, to say what's going to happen and what will be the most effective treatment is to a degree limited. And once I completed my treatment, I really wanted to see if we can bring this technology that we are developing for many other applications, if we can bring for healthcare and change patient outcomes. The goal of Mirai is to take an image, in this case a mammogram, and predict how likely the patient is going to develop breast cancer in the next five years. Uh, as we all know that even if you're a very experienced radiologist, there is a limit of, of what you know human eye can distinguish. So some very clear patterns like, for instance, a mass, which is most likely predictive of cancer, developing cancer, this is something that human eye can detect. But there are lots of other very subtle um, changes that happen in the tissue that is very hard for human eye to pick it up. And so originally we have a challenge just finding the doctors who would be interested to work with us on it. And there were several doctors that very early kind of saw the light and help us to frame it. Uh, from the clinical perspective, what will be the most useful? And then, you know, the first challenge was how do we obtain the data and make sure that the data is correctly annotated. So you really need to make sure that whatever you are learning from, because this is the only source of knowledge that the model uh, has, that it's correct. And it requires a lot of work on the clinical side to ensure that the data is a good one. It was very early, so AI craze was still not there and there were a lot of people who really didn't see much value in it and they were kind of assessing it in the eyes of the t existing technologies. So it took us quite a while to bring this work to publication and the, the, the importance of it is to ensure that others can follow the work but also share where the field is. You know, right now in my career related to the breast cancer, I am confronting some things that I don't know. You know, I know how to develop algorithms, how to test them, how to improve uh, their strengths and weaknesses. What I don't know, and I'm trying to learn, is you know, how do you actually convince a broader community, be it insurers, be it politicians who decide about the laws, be it conveying it to the broader public, how important is to bring this technology. And there are women like me uh, who don't have traditional risk factors, who are not aware that they are at risk. And um, I am trying to kind of do this last step of the way in terms of really translating. I don't know how to do it, uh, but I don't think I have much choice, I just have to try and I hope that there are others who are helping, many others who are helping, but I think it will take lots and lots of people uh, to bring this change and they hope that, um, you know, that after this interview, 
Some people would look at this technology and uh, think how they can help.